History Smashes Titanic by Kate Mesner. You've probably heard of the Titanic, the great unsinkable ship that crashed into an iceberg and sank in the, in the icy North Atlantic, killing more than 1,500 people. Maybe you've read about brave heroes who gave their lives in the service of others on that frigid night, or cowardly villains who only cared about saving themselves. Perhaps you've heard heartbreaking details, how there weren't enough lifeboat, lifeboats and how third-class passengers were locked away from the boat deck where they might have been saved. The tale of the Titanic is legendary, but only parts of that tragic story are true. When we take a closer look through eyewitness accounts, historical evidence, and the work of modern day archeologists, other parts come crashing down. Here is the real deal about that not so unsinkable ship that captured the world's attention after it hit an iceberg on the night of April 14th, 1912. Chapter 1, Unsinkable, The Building of the Titanic Mention the Titanic and most people think of the disaster at sea. But the truth is, the first victims of the Titanic died while the ship was still being built. The shipyard in Belfast, in what is now Northern Ireland, was a dangerous place. Piecing together a nearly 900 foot ship that weighed more than 46,000 tonnes was no small job. With thousands of men working at once, accidents were common. Sometimes workers dropped tools or rivets, the heavy steel pins that held the ship together. Staging or scaffolding collapsed and people fell. He's away to the other yard, the men would say when they had to share the sad news of a worker who had died on the job. The first victim of the Titanic was an Irish teenager who fell from a ladder and fractured his skull on April 20th, 1910. He had been part of a riveting crew on the ship. On June 17, 1911, the Belfast newsletter reported that 49-year-old Robert Murphy fell to his death when some staging collapsed. His son, also a Titanic shipyard worker, had died in an accident just six months earlier. The following March, the same newspaper carried the story of a man who'd suffered severe injuries working on a crane when he was crushed in the machinery. There were 254 official accidents recorded during the building of the Titanic, including at least eight fatalities. And on this wonderful book goes. <laughs>